I had made an observation, and it helped to clarify um, something that I hear very, very often. And especially when we're talking about the different churches. And what I mean by different churches is that I mean Orthodox, Catholic, Protestant. So obviously I'm staying within Christianity here. And many times what I hear people say is, ah, Jesus is Jesus. Ah, it's all the same. It's God is God. And I'm not going to disagree with that. Of course, to the Catholics, the Protestants, and the Orthodox, Jesus is the Son of God. He is truly God, made man, and now came for our salvation. No problem there. But what is not true and what they are missing is the fact that each one of us has a tradition that belongs to us. And part of the priest's role is to provide comfort to families that call on him to do whatever, whether that's to give a blessing, to uh, bless the house, receive communion in the hospital, prayers over the dead, whatever that is. And so where this really came to light, that this is not true, that, well, it's the same for everybody, Jesus is Jesus. Where that really came to light is that about three or four weeks ago, I had received a phone call, and the phone call was from a hospice center, and the nurse there had said, are you the priest of the Annunciation Church? And I said, yes, I am the, I'm the priest. She says, good, because you have two parishioners here who are etimothanatos. They are ready to die. And the family is asked that you come in and you say a prayer. No problem. All right. I did not ask which Annunciation Church. And there is an Annunciation Catholic Church. All right. So I arrive at the hospice center. I see the nurse at the station. You're the priest. Yes, I am, Father Angelo. Where is the family? And so they directed me to the family, and I walk in, and they are all Puerto Rican. All right. And so I didn't recognize them, and, and, when I, and, and the father is clearly dying, and, the, uh, and the, the wife and the children turn to me, and they say, Father, we're glad that you're here. And then they're looking at me to provide them comfort. I don't know what the Catholic tradition is. So I asked them, I said, what would you like me to do? And they looked at me like I was from outer space. You are a Catholic priest, because I had the collar, right? I mean, we were the collar. I wear, you are a Catholic priest. What do you mean you don't know what to do? This is my father. He's dying. What do you? And, and. I had to do my best because they said, oh, you know, you give them an anointing, you this and that, and I'm, you know, and what am I going to do? I'm not going to walk out. But what it taught me is here is a family who is seeing their father on their deathbed, and they're looking to the priest to provide comfort, and he is not providing comfort. This is a different tradition. If a Protestant priest, pastor, came to the hospital of an Orthodox there would be an expectation of what they're going to do. He wouldn't know what to do. I would not know to do what to do in a Baptist church. I wouldn't know what to do in a Lutheran church. They wouldn't know what to do in our church. So yes, God is the same, clearly, in all three churches. But comfort and care is not the same. We have traditions, and our people expect our priests to know what those traditions are and to behave like a pastor when they arrive. And in other denominations like Protestantism and Catholicism, that's not to say that they have bad traditions, but they do have different traditions. They do have traditions. So when they talk to us and they say, well, you, you're Orthodox Church, you have all of these traditions, and we don't have any of that. Yes, you do. And that comes clear when a family asks the priest or pastor to come to their home or to their hospice center or to their hospital. There's an expectation of what they have. And we can be proud of our traditions. They are important to us and they should not be negated. So those people that tell us, ah, you don't need traditions, you got too much traditions, they don't know what they're talking about.
because the minute that I show up and I don't know what to do, I am not doing what I'm supposed to do as a priest or pastor. So to end the story, when I went back to the nurse's station, I said, by the way, I am the priest of the Annunciation Greek Orthodox Church. And she goes, oh, I thought you were a Catholic priest. And she said, ah, it's all the same. And that is what got me to thinking, is that no, because I remember the look on the wife's face, and I remember the look on the kid's face, and that was not, that was not one of comfort. And so I felt very bad for that family, but now she appreciates that a little bit more. And I want us to appreciate the traditions that we have. We're not better, we're not worse, but we have our traditions just like the other churches have their traditions.